Hello, it's Julian, and I'm going to tell you the story of how a company lost its way to over-the-top expenditure, alcohol, and ego, which in the end led to billions of dollars of loss. In the ever-evolving landscape of modern business, few companies have captured the world's attention quite like WeWork. What began as a revolutionary concept in shared workspace would eventually spiral into a saga of corporate intrigue and controversy. Join us as we delve into the rise and fall of WeWork. Founded in 2010 by Adam Newman, Miguel McKelvey, and Rebecca Newman, WeWork emerged onto the scene with a simple yet powerful idea to redefine the way people work and interact by providing flexible, community-driven office spaces. Within a year, PepsiCo had set up a partnership with WeWork in creating a startup incubator in its space. By 2014, WeWork was considered the fastest growing LEC of new office space in New York and was on track to become the fastest growing LEC in new space in America under the charismatic leadership of Adam Newman. WeWork experienced rapid growth fueled by an ambitious vision and substantial investments from notable backers such as JP Morgan, SoftBank and Benchmark Capital. The company quickly expanded its footprint, establishing a global presence in major cities around the world, with its emphasis on fostering creativity, innovation and collaboration. WeWork became more than just a workspace provider. It became a cultural phenomenon, attracting freelancers, startups and established corporations alike. By 2013, WeWork customers included 350 startups, such as Fitocracy and Hackhands. At its peak, WeWork was valued at tens of billions of dollars, positioning itself as a disruptor in the real estate and technology industries. The company operated 43.9 million square feet of space, including 18.3 million square feet in the United States and Canada, in 779 locations in 39 countries, and had over 547,000 members. Talking about members, if you are enjoying the videos, do consider subscribing. It really helps us out. Now back to the video. WeWork was named Fast Company's 15th most innovative company in 2015. However, behind the facade of success, cracks have begun to appear. Questions arose regarding WeWork's business model, with concerns over its staggering losses, unsustainable growth, and the leadership style of Adam Newman. They decided to evolve their offer, and by 2018, they had opened up access to their spaces for students taking online university courses from 2U. And later in 2018, WeWork opened its first location on a college campus at the University of Maryland. Despite these developments and raising over $400 million, WeWork still lost over $2 billion by the end of 2018. Undeterred, the company pushed to become a public company. However, the move was met with skepticism from investors, which led WeWork to withdraw their application and significantly re-evaluate its proposed valuation. Something had to change, and in 2019, Adam Newman stepped down as CEO in September, which marked a pivotal moment in WeWork's tumultuous journey. In the aftermath of his departure, the company faced restructuring, layoffs, and a reassessment of its strategic direction. WeWork spent more than 80% of its revenue on rent and interest, paying over $2.7 billion a year. By August 2023, WeWork warned that it had substantial doubt that it can stay in business any longer, and announced that it may have to file for bankruptcy. Today, WeWork continues to operate, oblique under new leadership and a more cautious approach. While its impact on the modern workspace is undeniable, the saga of WeWork serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us of the risks inherent in unchecked ambition and rapid expansion. From humble beginnings to corporate upheaval, the story of WeWork is a testament to the highs and lows of entrepreneurship in the 21st century. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to like and share and drop us a comment. We post videos every week about design, design thinking, brand and digital. Until next time, stay curious and see you in the next one.